My name is Lachlan Mitchell, ID number 20352422, class Monday 12pm, and Tuesday name is Elaine Plant. Starting with the macro environmental analysis, I begin with the demo demographic macro factors. These involve things like age, gender, income and location. A large demographic factor discussed in both industry sports is the large increase in disposable income for Australian citizens. This has led to an increase in demand for the industry, especially in the gourmet chocolate market. Another important demographic factor is the increase in health consciousness, explaining to firms that their products should be made with this in mind, otherwise they should expect a decrease in demand. Moving on, a large economic macro factor to consider in the industry is the world price of cocoa. This can impact smaller businesses in the industry as they are less financially backed, but the price of cocoa is set to decrease between 2018 and 2019. Politically, political macro factors can be the biggest challenge for firms with the various rules and regulations. The free trade agreements across the Asian Pacific region have impacted the Australian market as it has led to increased exports and imports. This means domestic manufacturers will find it hard to compete with overseas companies as they have lower operating costs, such as China and Japan. Moreover, a natural macro factor for firms is the federal environmental regulations to protect against pollution. It is essential these regulations be followed as firms will become unethical in the eyes of the consumer. Culturally, a cultural macro factor that also ties in with a demographic factor is health consciousness. As society becomes more and more health conscious, market demand can only expect to decrease. It is also important to add that consumers like Australian made products. This will be a key factor for firms going into the future, both ex both with export industries and import industries. Technology. Technology is crucial for recipe development as well as automation in the production line for the industry in the new modern age. Also, with the online shopping demographic increasing, a smooth running website is expected by most consumers. As shown, macro environmental factors have placed both challenges and benefits upon the industry. Looking forward to market segmentation and targeting, there are four types of market segmentation strategies, demographic, psychographic, behavioural, behavioral and geographic segmentations. Looking at demographic segmentations, the increase in disposable income is something firms should focus on into the future. Psychographic, psychographic segmentation targets consumers who value quality, such as gourmet products and those that are health conscious. Behavioural, in behavioural sense, this, uh, these are consumers who regularly buy products. By targeting these consumer habits, a target market can be highlighted. Geographically, in the geographical segment of consumers, ex exporting is a large market. Understanding which geographic areas have a high demand will lead to greater market share. Recommendations. Now I recommend that it would be beneficial for firms to target all market segments. However, the industry should focus on key demographic segments. By focusing on a high disposable income market, more premium and gourmet products will be sold, as well as continuously targeting the health conscious market. Thank you.